Can you hear that? It's a guy literally going at a tree like with a chainsaw. Can chainsaw massacre. Oh my god, that's gonna be annoying. Hey yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Luizy21 back again out here in well it's not the heat. It's decent weather. It's you know temperature that we can live with. It's not 40 degrees. Um, but yeah, gotta make the most of the good weather. In the UK, like we don't have much good weather, so when there is and people start moaning, yeah, it was bad, but come on, like, it's better than freezing cold rain for the rest of the year. Um, and a decent decent temperature to be out here vlogging, podcasting, whatever I'm doing out here. Um, and yeah, just an update. So I haven't had the surgery yet. I'm due a surgery if you didn't already know from my last few videos. Or video where I talked about it, or on my TikTok, where I put the clip talking about the surgery I'm due to get um, in the next few weeks. Um, the big news was, the bad news was, I had to cancel my holiday to Italy. Um, we we're going to drive to Italy, but my health comes first, and maybe my parents or my brother at different times will go over to Italy without me um, after I've had the surgery, of course. And maybe I will later on when I'm better, but like I said in the other video, you know, I've been in the hospital for a like in A and E like seven times this year. For the stomach issues, intestinal issues, uh, that I've had. That nothing thought through what I've done is just a mechanical thing, part of the condition. Um, the muscles being weaker. Um, a whole load of things that aren't really my fault, which doesn't bother me. If it was my fault, then I'd be like, oh, damn, better change my diet. Though I have changed my diet, that's not why it's been happening. It's part of the condition, and not everyone gets it. Some people do, some people don't. I'm really not as bothered as some people think I should be, or others are. Like around, like to be honest, I need it done. I need to get better than I am now, because this year's been annoying. Because of this, without other things, it's not all been bad. I mean, this has got in the way of what I wanted to do. I wanted to start streaming on a regular basis. I started doing that, and then this kind of got in the way. And um, it's kind of a mental, mentally draining too. Like not knowing if you're gonna be ill this week or next week it, because it's not nothing to do with what I'm eating like but still it, you know, you're scared to eat because every time I eat it happens it's to do with what I eat uh, it's not to do with what I eat but it's to do with that um, that area of the body let's just say and um, yeah so they're going to operate and it's going to solve the issue I don't want to get into too much details but it will involve poking a hole in my stomach or well, poking a hole in me to connect like a valve um, to essentially un untangle my intestine when it does get not well it doesn't really get tangled it's more it closes because the muscle like just goes nope just literally goes nope I'm not working I refuse to work today um, and so they put a valve in that um, you release when the problem happens and it stops the issue from ever becoming an issue. Hopefully, that's the plan. And they need to gain some weight. So there'll, there'll be two... Poke, well, poke in one hole, but there'll be two, two um, connections to it. Um, I sound like I want to be a bloody Transformer now, isn't it? A bloody cyborg, bloody Terminator and that. Like, I've really got enough metal on my back to, you know, make a metal detector go wild. So i got, you know, I'm halfway there. Darth Vader up in here. All I need is a deep voice. God, I'd pay for that. <laughs> um, 
again, no fault of my own there. Um, got to take what you can get, really. Like when I first started YouTube, I was so nervous about hearing my own voice. Still hate hearing my own voice or watching my own videos. Like, I do for a bit and then I'm like, who is this moron? What? I've never used that word in my life. <laughs> and every now and then I go, who is this good looking Italian stallion? Like, Jesus. Is that me? No, most of the time it's like, who is this mook weirdo? Mook is another word, I don't know what mook means. It's literally a made up word. I heard it in a movie. I think a Johnny Depp movie. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'm out here. I'm actually a lot calmer now. I know I'm getting the surgery because it will solve the problem and mean I don't risk getting ill all the time by just doing nothing. I just risk ill just being it. Like, come on, that's not fair. And I, at the beginning, I was like, why me? But it's not just why me, there's, there's far worse issues, far worse, more intense surgeries. This one will take not even half an hour. Like, I'll be under for a bit, good 10 minutes. Well, half an hour probably or whatever, but not, not even that long. Like when I had my back surgery back in 2010, they put me under for seven hours while they put all the metal in my back. Like, and thank God for that surgery because that's why I'm sitting up right now. If not for that, I'd be like, literally, in a, well, I'd be in a different, my, my spine wouldn't be so straight. Let's just say that. Um, and now this is another surgery, a very, very minor surgery. Doesn't even phase me in that sense. It does, but it doesn't. Like, I know it's gonna help. The surgery one was like, you know, that's a big risk. You're losing a lot of blood. You get you're getting new blood. New blood. I mean, they're giving you they're giving you blood, and all that. That was like a couple of buckets of blood lost for that surgery. But for this, it's like quick. It's just a recovery will take a while. Um, but I'll be at home for the recovery. I'll be in a few days, and if I'm all being well, they'll let me go home and recover at home. I'll be back to doing this soon, um, you know, because it's got in the way of my YouTube too this year. I haven't made as many videos as I should have, or as I would want to. Should have is different, like, I could do what I want, like, you know, and then, you know, it doesn't really, I don't know, I mean, yeah, it's annoying, but it's only motivated me to work harder. Like, you just got to work, like, it's work. But I don't. I enjoy it too much to call it work, but technically it is something that you know I love doing. And the more you do something, you get better at it. I hope I have bloody hell. If you're falling asleep watching my videos still, I'm doing something wrong. Um, but it's me telling my story. Like I'm not out here to be Jake Paul and entertain you guys or to be some sort of epic comedian. I'm just literally telling my story. And. Yeah, I go beyond that in some videos or change up what I'm doing in some videos, but me telling my story is always what's there. I'm not trying to be this disability advocate, like, yay, disabled rights. There's people that do that, uh, but that's not me because that's just a cliche. You might be talking about making videos about disabled access all day. Like, there's people that do that, and I've done that for other platforms for other people over the years. I just want to be me. Talk about my life, like... I, I could make tourism videos. I could travel to places and just make the standard tourism video. I, I put my take on it. God, there's so much noise going on in the street. What are they, are they chopping wood or what? They're disintegrating a tree. That's what that sounds like to me. But no, like I said, I'm, I'd make a video in my style. If I go on holiday somewhere, I do vlog, but I don't make it a lit literally a tourist video. That's not me, like, there's other people that do that. That's not, not what I do, and I'm not gonna try and jump into some other, like, category of video or jump through hoops just to 
fit into a box, no. You, you can't, you can't put me in chains. That is it, that's literally it. And like, oh, you should do this, do this. No, I do what you feel. There's people that can give you advice, yeah. And I've taken advice, a lot of advice from people over the years, professional or non-professional, in ways to make videos and watch other YouTubers, but you don't want to replicate. You don't want to replicate, like, what other people do. I mean, this would sound more profound if there weren't all that noise in the background of a guy jumping a tree or whatever they're doing. Um, but you get what I'm trying to say, like, you've got to be yourself, like, be authentic. And that that's the best way to be. That's truly cool, like, I want to define cool, like, be authentic. Or try to be. And honest, like, I've told you about this surgery. I'm not exactly, but it's not like, it's not going to win me any beauty contests after this surgery. Um, but I need it done and I've been honest and told you guys some people wouldn't I thought about how, f how much I would tell you but I've got to tell you the truth like you guys have been here long enough um, you know or well, most of you have but yeah I'm less nervous because before I knew about this surgery I didn't know what was going to happen from one day to the next. Didn't know what to eat. The surgeon said like, you know, eat whatever's got calories in it. What you can at the moment. Eat for pleasure in some sense. Don't think, oh, I've got to eat this, eat this. It's got more calories in it. Um, yeah, and I think the way I'm going, I will gain weight and the surgery will help give me that confidence and enable me to get, um, like, uh, get my weight back on, basically. Uh, which I need for just overall health, really. And they did say at first, like, for the surgery you want to gain some weight. But then it's too, like, it, it's a short space of time to gain that much weight that, I would, that they thought I needed. There's no background noise for now. It could be an aeroplane or a kid screaming, running around playing hide and seek in their garden opposite but apart from that it's just me and you guys and that plane but what can you do? We're outdoors I'm brave enough to film a vlog outdoors a podcast outdoors or whatever like it's pretty mental talking to a camera out in public anyway um, but yeah even just doing it like this like I'm used to it now, so it doesn't really, doesn't phase me. I mean, when, you, when you're just in your garden talking to a camera, it's not so weird. When you're in the street doing it, it's weird. Um, but, no, like I said, I just do my type of videos. Don't try and exactly, like, copy anyone. I get ideas from here and there, and inspiration to actually make videos. But at the beginning, it was like, Coming to that realization that you just gotta not be scared to like make an average video or a bad video. So at the beginning, it was like I was so worried about that, but really, the more you do it, the more you learn just about how to do it. Like from just practice, practice makes perfect. And for me, nothing's ever perfect. Uh, for anyone, it shouldn't be um, because that's human nature to like always want more and like strive to do better and if you don't then well you're just content to stay where you are and I don't think anybody really is there's different things you know you make sacrifices uh, for your family and this and that which I respect like and you know putting bread on the table like, that's that's not what you call being content that's working hard for those you love that's different but I'm saying people who just go, yeah, I'm happy where I am. I don't want any more or need any more. Well, there's some good in that, but I mean, like, you have to always be willing to grow and progress. If you just say, like, I don't need to know any more about life, I know everything, 
and I'm fine as I am, don't need any other knowledge, then, well, you, you're going to fall by the wayside. Because it's like, every day you learn, like, you learn the most from your failures. I think Yoda said that in one of the Star Wars movies. You learn more from failure. Um, and, yeah, in relation to my videos, like, there's been bad videos that have gone, okay, don't do that. And don't do that ever again. And learn from this. Like in football, like, the best managers, like, they can lose a game and they'll use it to fuel their players for the next game, to motivate them to, like, not lose again. Okay, we've lost. Take it as, like, something to learn from. So when you lose a game, use it to your advantage. And it's the same in life, like, anything you fail at, you can learn from that and build on it and, like, grow or change what you're doing. Um, or keep working at it, even if it's not good at the beginning. Um, and I didn't get to where I am now by not doing anything or not trying to improve. I'm, I don't care if you fall asleep watching my videos. I'm quite happy to make them. And I feel like I'm improving as I go. Uh, it's up to you to determine what you like or don't like. Like, don't let anyone else tell you. Certainly don't let me tell you what's good or what's not, or in your opinion, you know, but I think as a platform and like the podcast style is just taken over, like, think about Netflix, they'll spend a hundred million or whatever to make a TV show or, or a documentary or movie to keep you entertained for, what, two hours? Keep your mind on that for like two hours and then you're done and it's gone, you know, and watch it again. You probably won't, like a Netflix movie or a series. Some series are brilliant on there, but like, they'll make a movie, they spend all the money, and then, and then what? Whereas I'm spending zero pounds, um, or Joe Rogan spending zero dollars to make a two hour podcast to talk about stuff and things that engage you, keep your, act your mind active and engage for two hours, but it's for free. Like, they haven't paid, or spent that much money to make it. I haven't spent much money to make this. And you know, not occupying you for two hours because like, I haven't got the patience. But at least however long a podcast is. You know, and I'm doing it for free. So Netflix is gone, like yeah, we still watch Netflix. I do. But it's done. It's done. And the future is podcasts. If this video don't stop on me now, I can see it stopped. Well, it looks like it stopped. Has it? No, it's still rolling. Okay, yeah. So when the light stops blinking, I know the video's done. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it took me a while to realise that I could do anything on this platform. But here I am, like, Telling the full truth, like, I don't hide anything. It's no point. I am who I am, or try to be anyway. Um, but yeah, like I said about this surgery, I'm not as nervous as I was before I knew I could have it. Like, because before I was just in fear that I was going to end up in A&E every week. And it happened in the space of a week. Once. <laughs> every time people are like, are you okay? Are you better? Yes, I'm better. And then the minute I say that I'm not, start getting back to normal routine of eating, and it just happens again. And when it does happen, what is, I just feel full when I can't eat, because nothing passes through. The intestine just goes, nope. Um, so yeah, that's fun. That's fun to do, and fun to explain too. It's not the most um, flattering thing to talk about. But I mean, it's all, I don't care. Like, joking about the other day, like, if I, if I go on a date, I have to tell the poor girl at some point. You know what I mean? Can't be hiding stuff. That's not who I am, I'm quite honest. With certain things. Um, not because I've got a big mouth. My brother does, like, anything he tells me. I'm telling the world. I do not care, even if I say, I promise I won't. So yeah, I'm honest to a degree. 
um, that is a big plane. Sorry, I'm obsessed with planes. I don't even know how long I've been rolling for. Considering I did stop for about an hour because that all that noise earlier. And I said some good stuff. Like, it's hard to get in a rhythm and talk honestly and openly. Because I always get distracted. I don't I don't think I have ADHD. I just an overthinker anyway. So if something happens in the garden now, I'll I'll pick up on it obviously. Maybe I don't know, maybe that's just me. Not everyone's like that. Like I said, easily distracted. Um, but then again, it didn't affect me at school. Like, I did alright during, like, lessons. Didn't get too distracted. But yeah, it's actually quite warm under here. It's like a greenhouse under this bloody veranda. Not that you care about the weather. I'm talking about the weather on here, come on. That's so English. Uh, yeah, at times I'm more Italian than English, but when I'm in Italy I feel English, when I'm here I feel Italian. Or vice versa. But some random people be like, well, well, you're not Italian, you're not born here. I'm like, shut up, I'm more Italian than you. Like, I appreciate Italy more than certain people in Italy might. Because you go, you live away from the country and you only really think about the good stuff. You only really see the good in it. So like when I go back, I'm like I'm seeing all the positive side, I'm not seeing all the the bad economy and like the corruption and all that. I just appreciate it for the good stuff. When you live there, maybe it's different. And then you you leave whatever town you're from in Italy, come to England, and realize that the life is completely different. Here you got to work literally till you're dead. That's what we do here. <laughs> and there it's all like chilled and relaxed, in the south anyway. And the cousins I've known that come here, they only grow to love Italy more when they start living here, because all the things they miss. And it makes sense, like, but then at the same time, they might realize why they left. They'll see people that they've left behind in Italy who are just struggling. Like friends of my cousins, like, they just got, Jobs they didn't plan to get. Jobs they didn't think they would have at their age, like, they thought they'd have more, probably. No offence to those people, but um, sometimes that's how it works out in Italy. Um, it doesn't always pay, pay off well to come here, because you, you've got to miss home. Um, but yeah, there's two sides to it. It's different because I'm born here, so I don't miss it in that sense. Obviously, I'm going to miss going this year. That's really torn me up, like, I can't go to Italy. Bloody hell. Even when I had my surgery in 2010, I couldn't go. It was like the worst thing. Because I have all my birthdays over there, really. Well, 2020, we didn't go because of, you know, COVID. 2021, we did go. But yeah, I'm going to miss that. And uh, yeah, the family accept that my health comes first, obviously. They're like, don't worry, come some other time. September, whenever, December. Whoa, Snapchat. Alright, chill. <laughs> That's my sign to go. Probably. Um, sign from God, no. Just, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, so wish me luck if you don't see me before the surgery. I haven't had the phone call as to when exactly it's going to be. What are we today? We're the 28th of July. So I could have it next Monday. Could be the week after. We we're meant to go away the 8th of August, but that's not happening. I think my brother is at some point. My parents are gonna stay for sure when I have the op. My brother might stay and then go once I have it. You know, just for moral support. And when I come out of the theater, all high on morphine and whatever other drugs they're putting in me, that'll be fun. I'll try and vlog that now. Just embarrass myself beyond belief. <laughs> Tell you all my deepest, darkest secrets. But yeah, maybe if I was more mysterious, I would get all the ladies. You know, because some people like that. Some girls like that, I don't know. It's just all of me on here. 
don't know. Um, I'm not so emotionally closed off as my brother is, let's just say that. Um, I'm a, more of a gentleman. He's more of a snake. A snake in the grass. That's what I call my brother. Um, but we won't get into other people, like, I could talk shit all day. But you know, um, like I said, wish me luck. I'm not nervous. Well, I am, I am a bit, well, I'm nervous for everyone else being nervous. But like, I'm not, since they told me I'm having this, it's just a, a weight off my shoulders. Literally, yeah, I have to get my head around it, adapt to a way of living, but at least it's living. Like, at the moment, it's no sort of life. Don't get to go anywhere. Like, for fear of getting ill. Can't travel anywhere. Why well, I'm not going to Italy. Um, which is a bit frustrating. I could have solved this earlier in the year. I had all year, like... But yeah, I can't afford to be annoyed because the solution has found a way. You know, there's a light, after all. I didn't think there was, but there is. So, like... It could be worse. Can't afford to be negative. I'm past that point. Like, too many people have struggled. Like, uh, I mean, not that I haven't. Like, yeah, because I'm more, less emotionally cut off than, than certain other people. So, like, I don't know. It's been an up and down year. It's only going to get better because I'm gonna, I'm going to be able to live a proper life. I haven't been for the last six months. Though I've probably painted a good picture, like, made it look like everything's fine. I say I'm honest. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've tried to. Because you can't just be down and out all the time. You can't just be, oh yeah, my life's shit. Like, you can't just be miserable all your life. Just because something that's completely out of your control is preventing you from living your life. Like, it's not my fault. It's nothing I did, so I can't blame myself. But yeah, guys, just don't blame yourself. Or unless it is your fault. Unless you, like, step out in the street. You don't look either way, you get hit by a bus. That's probably your fault. Um, or if you drink and drive and run over a family, like, that's your fault. And you're probably going to go to prison and then hell. If you believe in God. If you don't, you probably end up there anyway. I don't know. But yeah, that's a weird way of putting it. But yeah, don't drink and drive. Smoke and fly. <laughs> and on that note, it's time to end. I didn't say on that bombshell, so Top Gear can't sue me. But yeah, I am going to end it now. Thank you guys. I'll let you know how it goes. You'll see me really soon. It'll be like I never left. I'll be back before you know it, guys. Take it easy, fam. Peace.